Oh, no. Um, just, just taking some pictures. Who are you? Just taking some photographs out in public. For what? It's not in a public park. It's like, but like, what are you, what are you taking photos for? Like inside of our cruises and stuff. Like, what's the purpose of that? Right, to ID. You got a name? And put us out with a man on the west lot. Why are you touching me? Right now you're being Why detained. Why are you touching okay. me? Right now you're detained. being detained. I'm still alive here. Listen, y'all. These kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? No, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. See you know, me. I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID. You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told you, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today, April 15th, down at the municipal building, the city of Erie, uh, by popular demand to visit the city of Erie, PA, here in Pennsylvania. So let's take a look around, see what we can get a view of. We got some a police station is right down in this municipal building, so. Police department back here. How you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Just take us some pictures. And that should have been it, fam. One of them activist guys. This guy right here knew. He told them three times what was going on, but this police department couldn't help themselves. The ego in this police department is out of hand. Is what? I can't hear you. One of those activist guys. Crime fight. Over here. Got some pretty slick ass bald tires down here. Goods in this one. Get that screen turn pretty good. I'm gonna go get that off of this side though.
Whoa, wait a minute, Erie County fam. Is that a burner gun in the back of this police car? People would say, what's a burner gun? That's a gun that a police officer could just plant on somebody after they shot him and said, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. Now, I don't know what the procedure is of a gun in the back of a police car, but I do know they did not answer to my public records request about this gun, the serial number, who owns the gun, or the procedure of having a gun in the cop car. But I do know another thing, that there belongs to one and only Corporal Justin Starvage, our little red-headed, ego-tripping corporal we're about to run into. Just like that, I was out of here. I figured that was it. That was the end of it. Hey, what are, you, what are you doing, man? Just taking some photographs out here in public. Huh? Just taking some photographs out in public. For what? It's not a public property. Like... This is not public property. But like, what are you, what are you taking photos for? Like inside of our cruises and stuff. Like, what's the purpose of that? Just taking some photographs. Anything I can see from public. That's just weird. No. It's just very suspicious that you're taking photos of inside of our cruisers and stuff. Yeah. Wait a minute, Erie County fam. I had to pause it again to introduce you to the next tyrant of this film. This is Sergeant Sarah Scart. She is a major player in this film where she conspires against AEC's right to film in public by fabricating a crime with Justin here. In a moment, you'll see it all. Well, just taking a couple that's, photographs, that's all. That's just weird. Do I come take photos of your cars when I'm off duty? I don't know. Where do you work at? Oh, you're, you're exactly one of those guys, huh? What do you mean? One of those bait cars. Bait cars, huh? How you doing? This is an oldie, huh? Our cruisers. Well, do you live in the city? I don't answer questions. You, you don't live in the city, so if, it's not, if you don't live in the city, it's not your cruiser, right? You know, uh, pay taxes in the city. You pay taxes in the city, so you live sure here? Sure do. I bought a stick of gum on my way down here. Oh, boy. Yeah, if he's one of those. Can I, get, can I get a name and a badge number out of you? We're here. Just a badge number? That's all you guys got? That's all you're going to get. No names? Nope, because I'm not going to get your name, right? Can I get your name? Am I going to get your name? Am I going to get your is name? It my, is it my policy? Is it my policy? Is it my policy? You guys want to act like children out here. Can I get your name? I'm acting like a child. You're acting like a child, for I'm sure. I'm acting like a child. Can I get You're your name, sir? You're taking photos of all our Can cruisers. Your name? Uh, yeah, my name's Dan. Your name's Dan? That's correct. Dan what? Just Dan. Just Dan? I'm, I'm asking this man a question. You're interrupting it. I, I gave you my first name. Can I get a name or a badge Dan. number out of you? It's a negative here, too, as well. Erie County fam, this is Officer Gary Peterson. Gary Peterson, when I first noticed him, he seemed to be quiet and just observe. And I thought, man, this guy looks dangerous. He's the type that just stares and then the last second he might pounce on you. But it turns out he's just a tyrant in training. He's only been with the police department for two months. Sorry, to ID. You got a name? And put us out with a man on the west lot. Can I talk? Can I say anything to you? Can I talk to you? Can I have a nice day? Oh, I'm to pee. You don't got no name either? No. 
Oh, yes, he does have a name, Erie County fam. And let me give that name to you. That's Sergeant Tom Lennox. Now, this interaction here puts two sergeants, one corporal, and two officers on the scene to conspire against AEC's rights using the color of law. Have a nice day. Apparently his name is Just Dan. Just Dan today, guys. You guys keep our cars pretty clean, I like that. All right, Erie County fan, this next part's gonna happen quick. It's gonna happen tricky. You're gonna see all these cops conspire together. You're gonna see the guy's body cam kick on here in a second. You're gonna see them do hand signals. They know what they're doing here. This is not the first time they've done this to somebody that you can tell. Take a look. That's not, uh, oh yeah, you created privacy, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. This guy's old, you huh? I don't see these old ones like this anymore. Yep. So you want to go around? Right. Got the old gumball black and white, I like it. I'm live here. I'll tell you, Erie County fam, nothing says corruption quite like having to warn your fellow professionals, officers, that your camera is on. What's that? Let me see your fingers. I don't know why. No, thank you. What do you mean, no thank you? Oh. Yeah. There's a whole ass hamper on the driver's side door handle. Buddy, don't fight. I'm not fighting. You guys are twisting my arm. Don't stop my recording. Don't stop my recording. I got a video recording myself on this whole property. I never left this property. I'm still alive here. Alright buddy, I'm gonna end your recording here. And there it is, Erie County fam. That is their probable cause. I'm pretty sure it's going to be you. That is the RAS they use to lock AEC up here. Now, the Erie Police Department could use reasonable, articulable suspicion to lock anybody up at any time for anything. All they need to say is you were near an area where they found a fingerprint and now they can lock you up. This is a dangerous police department. Now let's talk about what happened once I got inside here. They denied the public records request for the security camera footage inside where they booked me, took my property, checked it in, 
ID'd me the whole nine yards of the arrest before putting me in a jail cell for another 45 minutes. They denied all the public records requests for any footage of the inside of this building or stuff like the rifle um, personnel records, disciplinary records of the officers. And the reason they gave is a section inside the public records request laws that says a record maintained by an agency in connection with the military homeland security national defense law enforcement or other public safety activities that if disclosed would reasonably likely to jeopardize or threaten public safety let's be honest the reason they didn't want you to see what happened inside there is because they don't want you to see how two guys kneeled on my back to take the handcuffs off while the third person unhandcuffed it, threatening to beat the crap out of me if I moved. Um, those are the real reasons they don't want to release the information. And if that's an incorrect statement, Erie PA, please do release that jail cell footage so that people can see that you didn't kneel on my back to take the handcuffs off. Erie Police Station, please do explain to me how letting out the records of these officers, their disciplinary records, would affect public safety in any manner. Now here, I'm awfully detained and they're gonna let me go now because they did their investigation, but they didn't stop them from reefing on the cuffs, to ripping my I'll skin and shit. Let's get this guy out of here. They just want to get me out of here. They know that it they was up. illegal. I want the paperwork, bro. that's for sure. You don't get any paperwork. I don't get no paperwork for this little fiasco? No. What do you want me to sign here? I don't get a copy of that? So you don't think that was an unlawful detention and unnecessary Absolutely. on top of it? I do not. I mean, what reasonable articulable suspicion do you have that I was even near any yeah, of those I'm cars? Time to leave. Move here. Have a good day. So is this parking lot closed when the this is open to the public? This parking lot or not? There you guys have it. Unlawful detention. They tried to arrest me, push these charges, but they're not gonna get away with it that easy. I go up there and get a full request form for some of the footage around here. Yeah, I need a foil or a free right to know act form. All right, hold on one second for me. Yeah. We're wrong when you said your EPA would have a heyday down here. They, they figured out who we were and they let me go after they're gonna try to charge me with three crimes. They arrest me for tampering with trying to break into a vehicle without seeing me do that. Now they're gonna now they're gonna play this game. Get out of here. Let's get out of here so we don't cause a lawsuit. Get all my property back here. You guys heard it. They had me in the jail cell there. You guys heard them tell me they're gonna charge me three crimes. Now they're gonna redo, undo them crimes. I had a pen. It took that, I guess. Sir, are you still there? Yes, sir. All right. You can actually get on our the City of Erie Police's website, epd.erie.pa.us. So all the all the free or right to know act uh, forms and that is all done online. What was that? All the right to know act forms are done online. You can, you can print off the form online. What about complaint forms? Can I get an officer complaint form? Sure. 
Hold on one second. I, I need two of them. Is it because the building's closed? You can't stand here. This guy tried to tell me they're going to charge me with this stuff, but apparently somebody in there had some sense and they had not to press charges against something that somebody had a whole video recording of. But you guys weren't playing when you said I'd have a heyday down here that these guys are tyrannical in behavior. Because they've seen handprints on somebody's car. It's enough to throw somebody in handcuffs and play games with them. They have a place for the police cars to be down below. <laughs> but they had them all up here. How's it going? I just went ahead and printed them both off for you. All right, per thank you very much, yeah, sir. Yeah, no problem. Have a good night. I just seen these cop cars come out of this hole, which means they have a place for their police car vehicles to be secured underneath the secure lot here. So they don't even have to have them up here, let alone throw cuffs on somebody and make some shit up. You guys seen it first. You weren't kidding. They want to give themselves a power video down here, but they got it. You guys are going to have to be the judge of this one. You know, find out these cops want to follow us or what out of here. This is the city of Erie, PA, where they don't, they don't fuck around, boys and girls. They fucking take the skin right off your hands here with their handcuffs. They don't, they don't play games here. We're gonna get all sorts of footage and we'll, we'll, we'll do some, uh, I'll keep wanting to say foil because I'm in New York, but the real actual term down here is free right to know act. Not much, just illegally detained by your police station. found out who auditing Erie County was and they decided it wasn't worth trying to throw them charges down I guess. Big crock of shit is what it was. These guys are uh, unmistakably tyrannical behavior down here in Erie PA. These guys definitely need some uh, phone calls. Um, this is uh, pretty crazy. that they uh, want to do this kind of stuff to someone. They even said in the beginning, this is a uh, guy practicing his rights and then they go and throw, slap cuffs on and make some shit up. These guys are out of their rockers. These guys here need to be investigated. They need phone calls, they need the works package. But there you guys have it. This is the city of Erie municipal building. They. Uh, detained me through handcuffs on me got pretty fucking rough and everybody knows that I'm a pretty peaceful guy and that I don't play the game I'm not going to resist I'll take it how it goes but that was out of hand that that almost makes you want to rethink doing this kind of stuff because you got to once first of all you got to play inside their their 
game, you know. You got to play inside their their court field and the cop in there. Oh, you'll get your day in court. You'll get your day in court. We're going to charge you with this, that, and the other thing. I'm detained for trying to break into a vehicle. And then in the cell, the guy comes in and says, uh, different charges. They're going to charge me with three charges, which is going to be trespassing, um, disorderly conduct, their go-to fucking charge. But... Uh, they let me go without charging me with anything. I don't know if they're gonna try to follow me out of here. I don't even care. We'll make it part of the video. So let's get a let's get a move on. Like we live in a society now where people wanna record how they discipline their child. The people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can't discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game.